Well, scenes like these have given San Francisco and the Bay Area a bad reputation. Today, California's top attorney announced a major blow to an organized retail theft ring believed to be responsible for a flood of thefts throughout the Bay Area. ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell has the details. Let's be really clear that we um, are not talking about one-off shoplifting incidents. Attorney General Rob Bonta announcing charges Wednesday against three suspects believed to be leading a retail theft ring across the greater Bay Area and beyond. These are um, primary actors, among the primary actors in, in uh, the, the planning and the preparing and the, the c conduct involved. And uh, so we think they are, they are very important charges that we're bringing. The suspects are being charged with nearly 50 felony and 10 misdemeanor counts, including organized retail theft, second degree burglary, grand theft, and vandalism. Often in the middle of the night, the suspects uh, generally donned dark clothes, masks, and gloves um, to break through security doors and security gates. Twice they stole ATM machines, one from an open Chevron gas station and one from a closed smoke shop. 25 businesses hit between early September and November of last year, targeting multiple jurisdictions, including Walnut Creek and Vallejo. The thefts resulting in more than $650,000 in losses to the stores, including at this Louis Vuitton in Walnut Creek, where suspects drove a stolen Range Rover into the store, grabbing nearly $250,000 in merchandise. In that case, there was easily a dozen suspects, potentially up, up to 15. Um, and we know this because we responded within a minute of the alarm activation at Louis Vuitton. Our officers were on scene um, as the suspects were fleeing. Walnut Creek's police chief crediting technology like automated license plate recognition, known as ALPR, with helping to track down the suspects. Using technology is, is very um, you know, beneficial in investigations. Uh, ALPR, some of that technology you talked about, and um, fully supportive of it. And with communities across the Bay Area, most recently San Francisco and Oakland, looking to implement these technologies, the Attorney General is weighing in. I am generally supportive of uh, technology as a tool to assist law enforcement when balanced appropriately with privacy. Tara Campbell, ABC 7 News.